What's going on, party people? It's your boy, Thierry Veal. Welcome back to the channel, Trillionaire Hustle, helping you build your financial muscle, right? So today's the end of the week, Friday. Hey, before I continue, like, subscribe, comment down below. Share the channels with your people, man. Let's help the channels and the views run up on this channel, man. Give me our great financial advice, especially about the stock market. And let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it running up. I want, to, I want us all to be successful. And yes, we could all win with the stock market. That's the game I choose to play in, and I love it. And I just truly believe we can all win, man. So I just want to help everybody win. So today is kind of a sad day, you know. Uh, Dogecoin went back down. You know what I mean? Dogecoin was running it up, and it went back down. It was awfully quiet online today. A couple of people mad, or not mad, but sad, you know. Bet a lot of money on it, and you know what I mean? If you remember previous video, I said, don't suffer from FOMO. Don't suffer from fear of missing out. If you didn't get in already, don't get in now because it's just going to go up and down. But, hey, man, I figure it's just, I know a couple of people who lost somebody in it uh, from talking to people and stuff like that. So, I'll make a video today. This video is going to be a how to play Dogecoin or not even Dogecoin or something like that that runs up and down or... Let's keep it on Dogecoin for a minute right now, right? So the thing about not even not even just stock market, but history itself. History always repeats itself. Like history always repeats itself. Everything always keep rehappening. It's just different people involved, but the same situations happen. Like the economy's going to crash again. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, the economy is going to crash again. The housing market is going to crash again. Uh, we are going to have another president that we don't like. And then we are going to have another president that we like. There is going to be, like, it's sad to say, to say, like, you know, uh, police brutality. That stuff is going to keep happening because history just always repeats itself. It's just different characters, different people are playing in it. So I say all of that to say this, right? If you guys remembered, like, in the beginning of the year, with the whole the stuff that happened with GameStop. GameStop came out. It started kind of running up on a Tuesday. It lasted about a week and two days. I counted it because I do my research. I always tell you guys to please do your research. And please do your research and make sure you, you know what I mean? You see risk versus reward. What are you willing to risk to see a reward? And how much is it going to affect you if you lose everything? That's the true risk of reward. If you put some money in a stock, if you were to lose it all tomorrow, that money that you put on the stock, how much of it is it really how how much is that stock how much is that money you lost in that specific stock really going to affect you when you're initially making an investment, right? So now, GameStop. I think it had started running up on that Tuesday. Everybody started talking about it. It ran up the rest of that week. And then the weekend it was running up, and then the next week it ran up all the way till about Thursday. So by studying that, and I don't have a lot of data, but by studying that, that just stock of what happened, why it went up, how long did it go up, and how did it go down, I realized that, okay, a going up and going down situation like that, a hype stock, as we like to call it in the financial world, a hype stock, something that is hype, it lasts about seven to 10 days. The run up and the run down, right? But, but I study this thing like you know what I mean. I didn't invest, I didn't make no money, but it was something that people. Like, okay, what happened here? What? Why did it happen? What can make it happen again? And what can make it not happen again? Right? You go and find out all of these reasons, and that's how you, you know what I mean. You do your research. That's what I like to do. I like doing the research. I like finding out the stuff. So by Dogecoin, right? Now I didn't put this out or nothing like that, but. You could believe me if you're not. You could believe me now. I could really care less. But when Dogecoin people started announcing the Dogecoin running up thing, like last Tuesday, like last Tuesday it was running up. Remember I said it's about seven to ten days. Last Tuesday it was running up, kind of went back down. During the weekend it was quiet. Then when the week started off this weekend, it went all the way back up to I think Tuesday or Wednesday. It was at about forty-two cents, right? Originally before all of this, Dogecoin was about seven or eight, ten cents. It went all the way up to about 42 cents a share. Uh, 42 coin, cents uh, Dogecoin, right? So when I, And I knew, like, I just knew, like, Thursday, 
this thing is gonna flop. Like, you feel me? Because there's nothing back in it. It's just news that's moving the stock because we know move, news moves stock. And I made a video about that. I don't want to just go keep sound like I keep re remaking the same videos, right? So, I, I was just betting on it and I knew it was God that your Thursday is gonna be the day, cutoff day. When you see stuff start happening going towards the end of a week, it usually carries into the next week, into that third. It ain't gonna carry into two weekends, but that's just a perfect example of a hype stock. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do. I'm not no guru or whatever. If you would've got in on Tuesday when it was really jumping up and ramping up, and then you got in, you got out like Thursday or Wednesday when it was at this peak at like 41, if you got out between 35, I feel like you made a good little chunk of change. If you got out between 35 cents to 41. Um, now, I mean, if that was your plan to just make some quick money, I never advise making quick money. I don't, I'm not into investing to make quick money, right? But if that's what you want to do, that would have been the ideal play to make. But again, <laughs> like you... You still don't want to make that play because, like I said, you what are you really doing? What are you really gaining by making a lot of money in the week? You're like it doesn't have no value of like you know the Dogecoin it doesn't have no true value. That what is the business behind Dogecoin that makes it really valuable? But if you were trying to make some money, I'm just saying that's the play you should have made, right? <laughs> but some people didn't make that play. Some people lost some money. Now. The one thing I do say about those cars, as much as I don't really believe it's going to take off or whatever, like I said, my opinion is just my opinion. You do your own research, come up with your own opinion. By doing research is how I was able to predict that's what was going to happen with those cars, which is why I didn't invest, right? So by doing research, you're able to collect amount of information what makes you make a more educated decision the next time something like that comes around. That's the whole point of research. You do you so you can collect information and that information help you make a better decision the next time around. That's all it is. That's why I always say do your research before you invest in stocks. Invest in stocks, you know what it is, you know what it you know what it is, you know what it's about. I literally saw comments like during a couple of days ago when it was at 41. People I don't care what Dogecoin is, make mad money. What you mean you don't care what it is you making money, man? You tripping. <laughs> like, bro, you bugging. What you mean you don't care? What you mean? What does that mean? You don't care. You need to care. Your money, like you work hard for your money and you put your money over there. So you need to know exactly what they're doing, exactly how they're making money. Is this business sustainable? Um, Can they make money in the future? What's the trajectory of the, you need to understand all of that to invest. It sounds hard. It's really not, man, because there's a lot of th other things that you spend a lot of time, you waste a lot of time doing and watching that's going to bring you no money. But instead of figuring out these four or five things about a stock before you invest, oh, that's too much reading, or oh, I don't want to do that, and this and that. You're playing the wrong game, man. You're playing the wrong game. But anyway, that's what I made that video about. And I say this about Dogecoin. Listen, man, if you do believe in it, that it's going to be successful, like that's you wholeheartedly believe in that. Like, yo, it's going to be successful. It's going to be bigger than Bitcoin. It's going to be this and that. It's going to be this and that. It's going to be this and that. Invest in it for the long haul. That's the play. Investing it for the home haul. I mean, everything go up must come down, but it doesn't typically, usually it doesn't go all the way back down to where it was before. Like, I don't think it's going to go back down to all the way like 12 or 8 cents. It might. If it if it do go back down to where it was before all of this, that just shows how bad of a business it is, honestly. But if it was 11, it went up to 42 and this falls back down to about 15 to 17, and then rides 15 to 17 for a while, and then it goes back up, then it goes back down and hubs around 20, 25. Like, yes, it's going up and down, up and down, but it's going up, down, up, down, up, down. It's still got a nice little scale going up like this. So if you believe in it, by all means, man, invest for the long haul. That's how you're really gonna see the return of your money. Bitcoin at one point was it worth nothing in Bitcoin today? I believe it was like 54,000 per Bitcoin. Dogecoin at, at one point was 11 cents, and you know what I mean? Now it's at four, uh, what 22 cents? I think it is last time I checked. So imagine if one day is 22 dollars of Dogecoin, one day is 220 dollars of Dogecoin. 
if you really believe in it and you understand that and you truly believe in it, if you see a much better return investing for the long haul than playing that up and down game, every time I run up, you put a bunch of money in there, hope you're gonna get a bunch of money out. Don't play that game, man. This is not the Russian roulette. Um, this is not a roulette table. Like that's not how you you're gonna make true money, long money, and good money, which gonna build your confidence as an investor. Meaning that when other opportunities come, because you make great decisions in these investments, it gives you more confidence to pick and make decisions in these investments, which is eventually going to give you even more money. And you're just going to keep rinsing and repeating, rinsing and repeating, rinsing and repeating. And that's how you become a successful investor. And that's how you make a lot of money. They can take your profit. You invest it in something else like business or real estate and you get your money, man. That's it. We really make this thing harder than it needs to be. But I love y'all. I just want everybody to be successful. Like, comment, subscribe. Now I mean share the channel. True you near hustle. Thierry Vio. Helping you build your financial muscle. Yes, we can all win with stocks. Like, subscribe, comment. I love y'all, man. I just want to see everybody win. It's better if we all at the table eating. That's the only reason why I make these videos. Because I truly want to see everybody win financially like financially being stable financially helps cover up a lot of other things man and we help us take care of our families and have the help us go into business help us go into real estate and all that other good stuff i don't want to hold y'all for too long this video kind of long but i love y'all i just want to see everybody win just please man don't suffer from fomo don't suffer from fear of making fear of missing out just be calm do your research uh find out the patterns and you know what I mean? And just use the patterns to your advantage. And you know what I mean? Whether you wanna invest or not, just know what is going on, understand the game. So when you are ready to make better other decisions, other investments, you can make better decisions on the next investments coming around. And we all can eat. I love y'all. Peace, like, subscribe, comment down below, share the channel. I'm out.